<laughs> Thank you, everybody, for downloading this latest episode of that D&D podcast. On our last episode, the party ventured further down the elevator shaft underneath Fortress Isle, where they found uh, some more gods willing to make some more deals. They signed a contract with one, got a gift from another, and told two other ones to go fuck themselves. Uh, so before uh, they left, uh, they had to get back to the top floor, and after they did that, the elevator shaft disappeared. Uh, there were some scrolls uh, that the, uh, I believe, Koro picked up and grabbed, and took, and had. Word. <laughs> And uh, they got back to the boat, and they are now headed for Rock Roost Isle. So before we find out what's over there, let's go around and do introductions again. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm the DM, GM, the goddamn DM, whatever. Uh, I'm going to be doing some probably increasingly dumb voices this time around, so put your listening pants on. I am Robert, looking forward to hearing those dumb voices, playing the part of Koro, the Eladrin wizard, who picked up those scrolls for no damn reason. I noticed that. I liked it. And this is Mike. Hi, I'm Mike J. Darkson Berard. You may remember me from this podcast, that D&D podcast. Tonight, it will be your prize in the role of Lash, the morally flexible assassin with a heart of... <clears throat> Copper. <laughs> With a heart of copper at best. <laughs> a heart of obsidian. With a heart. Maybe. It's not her heart. It's just a heart. Just y'all, the one. Y'all check this out before I flush it. <laughs> uh, Shut the hell up, Chris. Hi, I'm Andrew. Tonight I'll be uh, reprising the role of the robot so I get to work on my sweet, sweet monotone. Beep boop. I'm Adam playing Gazer and the Paladin. Wow, that was a very short introduction. <laughs> That's <was> very <laughs> great. To the I point. Uh, I'm Renee, and I'm playing Eska, uh, and I'm keeping my eye on Koro and those squirrels. I'm David, I'm playing Fair Soon, the Ever in Motion, and I just put my listening pants on. Ooh. Mm. Just took it off. Is that where he got them from? <laughs> Did everybody introduce themselves? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I, I have to say, uh, your your listening pants are a little tight in the crotch. Only when, never mind. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, no, taken, no, Chris. I had him take it. Chris, dance finish leg. that. Nope. Also, Chris, please don't finish my dancing pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. You all are headed so, to Dungeons Rock Roost Dragons Isle. Guys, am I right? Uh, luckily for you all, it's relatively close by. You have a pretty accurate map, so you're able to get the uh, life-deficient crew to point the ship in the right direction. Uh, and after, mm, say, four or five hours, you are now approaching shore. Uh, the sun's getting ready to go down. You guys were down there for kind of a while. Um, mm. But you've got a bunch of torches. You've got a landing party. If you want to bring zombies, or not zombies, if you want to bring uh, crew members, <laughs> crew members and the two living uh, crew members also with you. The uh, dwarves. You, yeah. You've got a pretty decent little uh, shore party if you want to all take some rowboats over there. Holy shit, can I cast light on their beards? <laughs> yes. That's the coolest thing. I do it. A very scraggly <laughs> light permeates some of the area around them. <laughs> wow, the shadows really make their frowns look big. <laughs> you are the chosen dwarf. Put on this red shirt and walk in front of all of us. <laughs> so, how do you guys want to get to the island? With the ship. Take the robot. You want to beach it? No, we're not going to beach no, the ship. No, no, we're not going to beach We have, we have, we have boats that come down off the ship. Boats. Right, we do that. Okay, do yeah. you want to take just the six of you? Do you want to take any of the other uh, crew? I'd say we leave these dwarves on the ship to find murder on our way back by the zombie crew. 
Um, I hear no opposition. No, should we bring people with us? I think so. I really think I really think they'd just be red shirts. That's probably true. All right, no, we'll leave everyone on the ship in case we have to make a quick getaway. You've solved I mean... my ship landing puzzle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't bring anybody on the island for da, the da, last da, ship. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Fuck on to play Tetris. <laughs> so uh, a, a, f- a few minutes later, you have uh, successfully beached your rowboat on the shore. Uh, you all hop out with uh, varying degrees of grace, and uh, in the slowly setting sun, uh, you can make out uh, a rather can we dense forest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the sand gives way to rocks which oh, gives way to uh, some sparse tree cover and this it gets thicker the further towards the center of the island you go um, <laughs> you can also try to skirt around if that's uh, if that's what you want to do it's, it's really up to you guys all good skirts yep here oops Okay, so in your skirts, uh, are we skirting around or are we going through? Nope, oh, fucked it up. We have a white square. Nope, we're going through this up. white there square. We go. We're trying, to make, a, bit of we're trying to make a general island shape. Hold on. General island, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do we call it? Oval Island. You guys landed here. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Tetris. You got some beach. I'm kind of curious. How long until somebody makes tie <laughs> fires all over this thing? <laughs> it's always penises first. What are you talking about? Yeah, tie fighters. I'm sorry, Renee. I forgot about the dicks. <laughs> I can't forget about the dicks. So uh, my friend went to Greece recently, and uh, one of the things he found was that uh, they had uh, etched penises into the roads, pointing to the direction of the red light district. So they were uh, phallic direction finders. Nice. I thought you were going to say he went to Greece and then he found dead. <laughs> it's messed up, man. Topical. I don't, I don't think most of us have to go to Greece to find that. Okay, yeah. so that is the uh, large forest general area that you see. Um, is that its name, Forest General? What do you guys want to do on the island? <laughs> Chris is face me right now. I would say that probably whatever we're looking for is going to be in that forest, because that's the way these things go. Yeah, Sigil deep. begins yep, detecting dark. magic items. Forest. And it points right to Korra. And then he filters nearby back and Koro on purpose. And then Koro stands right in front of him. <laughs> You're the one getting walked over by 300 <laughs> pounds of metal. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm getting trampled. Do you get it? What are Think fast. Get it? It's chlorine. Um, the pink things, uh, you notice large rock outcroppings in various parts of the island. Uh, and there are very large birds. Uh, rough estimate would put them somewhere between the size of an average humanoid person uh, and a, uh, a horse-drawn wagon. So they're big harpies? Uh, they are probably rocks, based on where you are. Um, oh, and they're, I thought you said they were birds. They're letting out um, <sighs> sort of deep, gargly, calling sounds. Are we watching Gargoyle? Because that'd be pretty rad. That was a good show. Uh... Also, for the audience, Chris is sighing and putting his head to the side. Chris hates some of us a lot right now. Yeah, you can't see me, but I'm pretty much doing that, too. I thought that was you. I can see you. I thought you were the anime. Animu, please. He's every anime. Also, that pink one at the top looks like a very sad, smiley face. Well, I guess not smiley. It does. It's like frowny frowny face. face. Yeah. Frowny face. All right, so Sigil, did you detect anything magic? Should we go into the forest? 
I don't think he did a roll. He did not. He said he was taking magic, and then everything went off the rails. How does an 18 have? <laughs> How is that for a number? Why the fuck is your bonus 13? Because I'm an Arcanist, and Arcana is kind of how you Arcane. <laughs> is Arcane a verb? Yes. It is now. Alright. Which Fair one enough. of us has 13 in history? <laughs> and somebody drew a deck, of course. So, based on... It's a crying one. Uh, it's so sad. From standing on the beach, yep. you are getting uh, Arcane resonance from virtually every direction, uh, except for the shore you guys are on. Oh. There seems to be um, a, a higher concentration in the woods, um, but uh, everywhere you see those rocky outcroppings, there seems to be some, um, and also just in, in other locations in the distance, you can sort of feel, but uh, there's nothing you can see that it would correlate to just yet. Cool, let's go punch some birds. I hide. I don't punch birds. The birds are all very high up on rocks. Um, rocks on rocks. <laughs> it's rocks all the way down, guys. <laughs> They're high on rocks? Okay. Yeah, rocks are big. This is a fucking drug island. Okay. Yes, yes it is. That's uh, why the resonance. The also, the picture you drew kind of looks like a face. A Cyclops everything, face. with Everything a... looks like a face if you squint at it. So you guys are on the beach. What do you want to do? Well, we I go punch over here, we birds and steal their magic items. <laughs> Koro's gonna kick off his shoes and hang out. Alright, then we need to we should... to the left where there's only two of them instead of to the right where we there are should... three. It's getting dark. We should find a place to camp for the night. Do they mostly come out at night? Uh, nature check would tell you that. Oh, uh, well. Lash just assumes that nothing wants to eat her. She is dead. Flash mills. Oh, hey, I'll do a nature <laughs> check. Okay. Maybe if. No, no Chris, are you soon. okay? Or are you just disappointed? Is that I'm why fine. you're putting your face in your hand? Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, He's just mad. Uh, first, soon is that a nature check? Not <laughs> run around in the dark. <laughs> with a bunch of animals that all we don't us. know about. First, soon is that a nature check? For your yes, that is okay. that is a nature check. Uh, you know that for uh, that, that by and large, uh, rocks are diurnal and not nocturnal. Yeah, but I'm worried about the other animals that we can't see. Oh, well, on an island, you will sometimes find big fucking spiders, uh, big fucking snakes, um, snake spiders, <laughs> spiders, snakes. Uh, most of the most of the dangers around the islands out here are aquatic, um, as as evidenced and the by the have previous. Probably ticked over the island pretty well. Yeah, as evidenced by the previous um, incursion with the the gurgle urgles, um, oh, out at sea. Yeah. Um, you are probably safer inland than shoreside. So we can camp at a forest edge. Might provide some more cover. Very, very likely. Or we could murder the birds in their sleep. Anywhere Koro is is a safe place. Yeah, I mean, are we particularly worried about the birds? Or can we just, like, go get our shit and leave? I mean, I can shoot them and not miss, but the crows will remember me. You you have heard uh, the, the kind of gurgly calling sound. Uh, but you haven't seen any of them sort of making any aggressive moves towards you. There have been some flying overhead and calling, but that's that's mostly been your interaction with the birds. Do we so what know, we'll yeah. do is we'll, uh, we don't we'll know what we're here for yet. Don't yeah. hurt the birds. Birds are good. What's your face knows? She can find out. She's got a good high perception check. Eska. Uh, what am I percepting? You're looking Everything. For the thing, you're looking for the thing that we need. Well, either we need an archaeologist, or not, um, either it's in the content of the rocks, a like geologist, in, so it just keeps geologist God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Whatever. Too. We basically need what to either... Oh, it... sorry. Bet, 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 sorry, I'll shut up now. According to the robot, either they're in the forest or in the rocks. So... Sorry, do you mean rocks or rocks? In the land. 
the ground. Ground. Is there a way for us to search for that without digging? So, from the shore, with your perception, you can tell that off in the distance there are several groups of rocks sitting on several groups of rocks, and there is a forest that you can see the edge of. I, I walk up to one of the rocks, stealthily. <laughs> are you sneaking up on a rock? The large, stony mass of earth does not detect you. <laughs> <laughs> I poke at it looking for magical properties. Who decided to name birds after stones? Some jackass. Um, if if you guys head up to one of the rocks, uh, do you, do you want to head out to one of the outcroppings somewhere, or what do you what do you, you want to do? Well, if if the birds are nocturnal, <laughs> these are rocky outcroppings. There are no birds. No, they're birds sitting on the rocky outcroppings. The rocks are on the rocks. That's why there's rocks all the way down. Rocks Can we rocks. call them giant eagles and bypass the next thirty minutes of? Okay, of we have giggling. we have blackbirds sitting on rocks. Okay, okay. blackbirds. So if they're like normal, like normal corvids, then they like to collect shiny things. If they're, they're not. Night... They're. I thought they were more like giant hawks or eagles. No, I think they're like crow crows, aren't they? They're birds of prey. So are crows. They're religious birds. Um, my suggestion is that since Lash is stealthy, maybe Lash can thievery any things that they have from them. Oh, that's an excellent Water trial. City. I will roll thieveries. Roll d20 plus 13 for stealing. Are you heading up to one of these places before you try to... Okay, you're trying to head up to a nest and steal some shit, right? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, I stealthed up it, and now I'm trying to get stuff out of it. Okay. Wait, you stealthed up after we ran out of the boat? It's pretty thinking. common for Lash. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's what I do. No, no, yeah, fair enough. Been hiding for fair a while. enough. I've been she. hiding for 60 episodes. Uh, the sun <laughs> is, is setting uh, at your back, so uh, the birds don't get super great visibility on you, it seems. Um, but as you climb these rocks with the slightly shimmering uh, mineral veins running through them, uh, you manage to make your way up to a nest. Uh, you root around. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any bones. There's no eggs. Uh, the nests seem to be sort of falling apart. And the birds, uh, they they hop around uh, slightly uncomfortably. Uh, huh. But there doesn't appear to be anything of value in these nests. So then what we're looking for is actually in the stone itself. The glowing we... kind of gave that away. Um, Cora, roll magic to yeah. figure out how to get the thing that we want. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do we have any me? way to get it out of the rock? For our... Andrew, robot a solution. Yeah. yeah. Our... Actually, so, we see what? We see veins of magic going through the stones? You see, Lash sees slightly Shining. shimmering veins of something <laughs> in the rocks she climbed. Okay, I get, I'm assuming that Lash tells me about that. Flat, or Koro, there are things. Make the things... Make uh, the magic yes, stuff the rocks. Thank you for telling me. I will roll magic to see those things in the rocks. As you turn around and say that, you hear... <laughs> haw, 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 as uh, some of the more birds land on the rocks next to you and just peer down at you with these milky, dead-looking eyes. Oh, these are my people. <laughs> Is this your island, Lesh? Uh, probably, or could be, right? Apparently, these birds are undead. Yeah, let me talk to them in our, in our native tongue. Caw, caw. Oh, diplomacy. My diplomacy is 7, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, 1d20 <laughs> plus 7 for diplomacy. That 26 was for Magic of the Team. Rocks. So yeah, so I try to um, I try to negotiate uh, a, um, a settlement between us and the milky-eyed um, birds that is amicable to both parties, wherein we get to remove the cool, glowing magic stuff, and uh, they get whatever it is that they want. They look down at you, and their gaze shifts slightly towards the forest, and they continue to hop around on the rock uh, with a minor amount of agitation. Cora, what are, you, are, what are you arcaning the, the rocks for? 
the magical veins that are going through them. Yes, but what are you trying to do with your arcana roll? Figure out how to get the magical veins out of the rocks. Sure. I mean, arcana would let you know. No, that... kind of know what they are, what that has, what that is. It's residuum. Yeah. It seems to be some form of residuum. A.K.A. the shit that makes things magic. Basically, you can use it to enchant things. But can I know why it's there? It's natural growth. It's, it's yeah, it's natural a naturally occurring, occurring substance. Yeah. It's okay. just rare. Okay. It's like finding. Hey guys, there's like, some pretty neat shit over here. It's like finding diamonds at ground level on Terraria. We know that's why you <laughs> came to the island. So. Presuming Lash can talk to birds, there's something in the forest that they wanted to deal with? Or I'm crazy, stretch. but either way, let's go Yeah, Lash seems to be telling us this, at least. Fair soon sort of shrugs exasperatedly and said, that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, was your idea to talk to a bird way. to see what they wanted? <laughs> what no. kind of idea was that? Just go into the forest. <laughs> hey guys, this forest has birds, let's run to it. No, you had the good idea of not going anywhere where it was dark. Not yeah. running into the forest in the middle no, of the night. No, finding shelter in the forest. I'd say the edge of the forest is probably safer. Mm -hmm. What if the things come out of the forest to hunt at night? Then we want to be inside the forest, right? No. <laughs> Let's go Obvi obviously the you don't... before Chris drops rocks on us. Obviously right? you're all too excited to sleep right now, so... Okay, so what's the what's the general consensus for you guys? I don't even... We're going into the we're forest. We're going into the forest. Yes, we're going I, into I, the will, forest. I will stealthy. It looked good, so why not? Okay. Um, as you step foot into the forest, uh, you notice the sun doesn't seem to be setting anymore. Um, and if you continue in a straight line towards the center, uh, the sun actually seems to be going back higher into the sky. We're going to so, time. So we're in Alaska. Do you rush from here? Uh, do you wish to continue forward or turn around? In for a uh, penny. Let's go forward. What, what, Let's what go. does a 22 arcana get me for what in the fuck? Uh, there is some sort of weather manipulation here. <laughs> this okay, seems familiar. So who has fire? Because we're going to burn down this entire forest. <laughs> I prepare a fireball today, so yes. Uh, and with the 22, it, it's it's emanating from further inside. Hadur. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go murder a forest. Let's go. Let's go down to the lobby. Are there a bunch of like throwing tridents lodged into trees? <laughs> no, it's it's remarkably quiet. There doesn't appear to be uh, much movement. You have the occasional uh, song of a small bird, uh, but usually uh, all you hear is the uh, the rocks calling. He doesn't. The ants don't really understand. But then again, you are very small. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, yeah. So, um, can we just search the forest for things that would be causing this problem? Oh, yep. Let's go. Yep. Find the things. Uh, Calling it now. Tiny creepy cow. Cousins. Tiny creepy cabin, he said. It's sort of my signature Ooh. thing. We've, we've had interactions with tiny creepy cabins before. Let's go in and see what thing has rolled up for us to suffer. Uh, so... <laughs> Sigil refuses to step foot on any carpet, <laughs> area rug, throw rug. <laughs> it's okay, your friends have gone inside and already discovered the basement. Uh, so, as you guys... are you, are you gonna, a good movie. Are you going to wander forward? Yep. Okay. Uh, using the easy method of hey, is the sun higher up, you're able to find the right direction. Uh, if the right direction is, you know, head to the middle where this is coming from. Um, as you get there, you find uh, what appear to be the tallest and sturdiest looking trees in this forest, probably close to a thousand years old, maybe. Um, they are all somehow bound together, like. Instead of being freestanding, they all sort of form a canopy. Um, 
they are uh, tied together with some weird sinewy looking rope. Uh, on top of the canopy where it sort of forms a bowl, uh, there are a few large bird nests. And underneath the canopy, there's a small opening with a freestanding door. So uh, there's not a door to one of the trees. It's There's an opening, and in the middle of the opening, not supported by anything, is a door. Okay. Um, so you said you had prepared fireball today. That is correct. I'd like to knock on the door. I will not use fireball for that. <laughs> I can magic missile it if you'd like, but I will not can use you fireball. Knock? Are you a second edition with No, I just want to properly go up and knock on the door. I don't Okay. Yeah, well Foz not Foz. Foz is gone. While well, Sigil and I are having this conversation. Yeah, red. Yeah. Um as as you make your way through the clearing, uh some of the birds uh land uh off to the side of you. They don't seem to bar your way. Uh <clears throat> But uh, they they sort of flap their wings every now and then. You can see the the mottled patches where there's no feathers and the the dead eyes and uh, disfigured feet. And they watch you walk towards the door. And when you knock, uh, nothing happens. I try is there a door handle presumably? Yes. Try to open it. It opens. And what's on the other side? Is it just the other side of the trees, or is there something? Nope. You are inside a a well made cottage. It looks like. Oh, it is a creepy little cottage in the woods. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got a little excited about that. <laughs> is there anyone inside yes. this room? Um, look, it's you. Ins <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, about to be. Inside the building, uh, there is... You, you know those fold-out um, changing things? Like, you go behind it to change like they did in the old days? The little right, yes. recording thing? like a, okay. a line. Yeah, so there's that. Room you, divider. You see... Uh, with a candle on the other side, you see the silhouette of uh, someone. Uh, but in the in the room, uh, there is a, a old table. It seems like it was well constructed, but uh, it just seems ancient. Uh, there's a cracked and shimmering mirror in one corner. Uh, there's piles of books that are caked with dust and cobweb and uh, various dried liquids. Um, and as you look around, a, a hunched, uh, emaciated-looking man uh, comes by, and he's got a crown on his head. Um, without the going in, can I call out a greeting to the house? Yes. Or the Norman General? Yes. Uh, what are you saying? Just hello the house. Okay. Um, uh, as you speak, he, he looks up to you, and you see that the crown on his head, uh, all the way around are various finger bones. Um, the top part seems to have fused with the metal, and the bottom part is dug into his skull wherever the fingers touch. Uh, several fingers have uh, occupied his eye sockets. Uh, hey, what the fuck? Uh, he looks up at you and he goes, <gasps> Bring me the lasher! Uh, Here you go. Yeah. I do have fireball prepped. <laughs> <laughs> So with no metagame knowledge, I'm guessing this is a bad thing. Um, why do you or right, why do you ask? Do, do this? I hear this or am I somewhere else? Um, I don't know. Where are you? I was no. fooling around, probably hiding behind Gauzern me because he can't be trusted. He's a paladin. <laughs> Might do something nice to someone. And I'm hanging out right around Lash. Because she's dead and can't be trusted. He, uh... uh Lash signed a friendship document earlier today, so... <laughs> clearly weakening. I made friends. <laughs> <laughs> we are contractually obligated to be friends. So, uh... If Lash doesn't immediately present herself, he'll go... <gasps> I'm on common I common. smell her! Is she That's, here to fulfill okay. the bargain? That is not okay, dude. What bargain do you speak of? She knows. Uh, it's a knowledge character. Well, fuck. I don't. So you tell me. 
She is to bring the artifacts in exchange for power. Oh, so I present myself. Power. <laughs> <laughs> is my pearl doing anything? Is Cora's pearl doing anything? Uh, it it is vibrating uh, in a somewhat agitated fashion. Okay, I'm gonna back away from this place. Well, yeah, bring my bring the pearl over here. Maybe we can uh, trade it for some power. No, fuck you. I'm backing away. The keystone and the portcullis in exchange for an army the likes of what has never been seen. Hey, are you are well, you one of the representatives? I promised an army of the dead, loyal, strong, in exchange for the artifacts. Decades ago, are you here to fulfill the bargain? Well, I, mean, I do not trust this guy. So I'm I'm more interested in who you represent, because Finger Eye isn't a god that I'm that I'm uh, somebody with with knowledge really. Koro, who is this person? I don't know. Try rolling your magical knowledge of magic. No, I don't know who this person is. So roll it. He's raspy. That's all I know. <laughs> He's Rasputin. <laughs> ha! God damn it, Chris. <laughs> yeah. I well think that's probably actually his name on the character sheet. No, that's his name now. 1d20 plus 4 for Did knowledge. Did you and Chris write this story together? Rasputin. A 20. Tell me about my knowledge, Rasputin. Ah, uh, raw, Rasputin. He says, How could you forget? Is your crew not memory enough? <laughs> I died, Are they bro. not example enough of my power? Oh. And I thought that oh, I was somehow special. <laughs> <laughs> All who are weak thinks themselves special. Well, you just talked yourself right out of two magical orbs. One. <laughs> Roll 1d20 plus 13 for thievery. Not two. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't do that. <laughs> it's kind One of a dick move. Orbs. It is more than a dick move, and it is not something also, I'm going to be doing because this guy's a dick. <laughs> I offer enough servants to fill five cities, and you choose to sorry, go what about back five on cities? the agreement. What five Army, cities? His armies fill five cities, he says. Where do you think Are the dead come from? No. Fuck, no, I have to kill a necromancer. Necrodancer. Such a great game. Alright, um... This episode brought to you by Crypt of the Necrodancer. Coming soon to PS4. <laughs> Is it really? Is it really soon coming to PS4? Yes. Be right back with a human female bird <laughs> named Cadence. I, 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 I kind of want to play Necrodancer to the theme of every song in John Wick. I've been uh, frequently... I get kind of recycled, so I died, and yet I live again. Um, Still haven't seen that movie. So I've forgotten exactly Mediocre. what our bargain was at the time. Don't take it personally. That happens a lot. I can smell the stink of the raven on you. That's, again, inappropriate. Can we just stab this fucker already? And Sigil asked that in character. So, So the one thing that I will say that we've got going for it is... Presumably, this guy is not an evil god. Are you an evil god? I am no god. Are you representative of an evil god? I represent myself. Okay, so, and you're gonna, are you gonna ask for us anything in their turn after we give you these magical pearls? The artifacts are all I seek. Why? Right, what do... Why do you wish to have the artifacts? Yeah, what this good. guy really needs is the power to mind control anyone, kill anyone, and extend his own life. <laughs> Why don't we just get him a glass of water and call it even? <laughs> no, see, I gave a guy a drink of water once, and I got stabbed for my trouble. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, that happens. <laughs> well, you know, he, he was cut off for a reason. From water. Right, he'd had enough. The keystone and the portcullis 
Give them to me. Why? Nah. No. That was the agreement. Sure, but again... I didn't agree to shit. Oh, sorry, Mike. I don't speak okay. to you, worm. I speak just to the lasher. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to kill this guy. Yeah, so, again, I... The problem is that you're asking for two artifacts of incalculable power. In return, you get me five armies, but let's be honest. There are six people in this party, four of which we haven't tapped into their gods yet. We can make pretty compelling arguments to get, which to get armies from them. Um, additionally, I, I don't know if you know this already, but we've talked to some other gods, giving us you know, these uh, ultimate artifact, ultimate armies and stuff like that. And yours is just... You're not, you're not selling it, dude. You're just being kind of a dick. course it's foolish to expect someone to keep their word after all you were a bandit queen i'll be taking back what i have given you then what did you give me crew and the ship uh, um it's cool we're gonna gandalf out of here anyways worry not you'll work for me soon enough Burn him. No, we, we can't let so, him do this. So, um, I attack him with the spear. Oh. Spear. The, the uh, portcullis, I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah, this seems like a good time for use of this incredibly evil device. Uh, except, is he more evil than me? Have I kicked a bag of puppies today? Time to find out! He has a <laughs> crown of fingers. I'm guessing he wins on the evil. Your crown is just soul gems. Yeah, yeah but, those uh... are actually souls. Well, but I mean, each person has many fingers, but you only have one soul, so the crown that Lash has is probably more evil. Yeah, but recalling properly, he's already killed player characters before. This is true. Who has he Lash. killed? Flashback campaign. This is the guy. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that we would know this, but you know, yeah. just for the sake of yeah. remembering for like everyone else. This is Cabin in the Woods guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, from outside the door, you hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on, hang on. I I'm sneak attacking. Okay, well, this he's not oh, doing anything. Oh, this is the wrong guy. Oh, um, shit. From outside the door, <laughs> you hear uh, the sound of uh, a gathering mass of birds. And what was once, it seemed like maybe mid afternoon, uh, it's real dark outside. Can we get the birds to help us? Guessing that the birds Have are they... not going to help us. Roll diplomacy. To join our cause. <laughs> Fuck you, Andrew. <laughs> our cause. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, I appreciate it, but god damn it, I hate you. <laughs> well, Lash did ask them what they wanted, and they looked towards the forest. They wanted us dead in the forest. Right. I think the dude was probably, like, poisoning them, and if we kill them, they might, like, re revert because all the magic is going to be gone, and maybe his douche nozzle re. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I think I speak for all of us here when I say we're going <laughs> to stab this guy. Yeah, you always think you speak for all of us. Once we agree, it's a good idea for you to stab somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting out of something on the ledge here. I'm just trying to figure out what's power. I, it's the best to stab him with. Ah. I'm gonna need him to make him kill himself. That's the least evil way to do it. Yep, definitely. How do we make him kill himself? Because the sphere thing makes uh, dominates minds. Okay, yeah, I will try that. I use the sphere to dominate his mind. Okay. Uh, why don't you give me an Arcana check plus five? So Arcana, you say? Yup. Actually, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. How about I? I three. Why is it a question? Can I? Can I do like acrobatic backflips to to convince it to do that, something for me? That shit don't work, dog. <laughs> can I reach into the the? Can I steal knowledge of how to use it from? No, you want to roll your alignment. 
You could either use Arcana or uh, uh, Persuasion's not a thing in this. Something charisma based, since you are trying to override someone's mind. Charisma based? Beatwise is charisma based. It is. <laughs> you, De hey, Spear, diplomacy to make him see things your way. <laughs> The fence for all these stolen goods. Like I've asked around and how to use this thing, and this is the best way. He was born in the streets. He's actually having a rap battle with a guy right now. <laughs> Dance on. I love the idea of Eminem <laughs> just being this level thirty. Yeah. You don't. If you're getting in a rap battle with somebody who's wearing a crown, okay, you'd better be pretty. They both have crowns. Wearing a crown. Yeah, mine has souls. The crown pits of crime. <laughs> no, your your crown has soul. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> How many times can I say fuck you, Andrew, before I dislam <laughs> this game? Not enough. <laughs> oh, God. Boom. Tickety tack, type, type. That was 29, super Chris. <laughs> Oh, wow. Those are some sick moves you busted. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm all like. Yo, I heard you uh, came here to take back my ship, but that's my birthright, yo, and I can't think of anything around the ship. <laughs> okay. Ship. Mit. <laughs> Mit. Crit. So you see him shaking ship? his head, With a uh, but for a moment he, he seems to sort of go blank. So you can try to command him to do a thing. Like the I would kill. Can I say no, die? No, just get him to take off the crown. Huh. Oh, remove crown? I don't know that it's as powerful. I mean, I, I, I kind of like die. Got already. <laughs> yeah, just off his heart. Um, submit? That's another good one. It probably doesn't have to be one word. Give up. Uh, Surrender. Surrender. You belong to me. This hurts you? So pick one thing to do to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest marriage proposal ever. Surrender, you belong to me. This hurts you. I know you hurt this. <laughs> um, and this is one of those times where I wish I could um, ask everybody up there on TV land what they think I should do. I'm going to go for the a golden girl. I, um, I really have no issue with stuff. I'm just going to go die. He looks at you, and a little smile crosses his face. And he says, you're not very perceptive, are you? No, oh, I've got like a four. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks down at his hand. He breaks one of his fingers and pulls it off. And he holds it up, and no blood comes out or anything. I'm already dead. That's what's dead, which can I die? Yeah, you can die again. Die again. Redead. Die some more. <laughs> um, the anime. Well, he's so like just functionally stunned. I just burn stab him. him in the spine. Yeah, just, everyone attack, please. I can't stop laughing at this picture we drew. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I know. <laughs> oh. Does it 27 hit his armor class? Uh, no. What? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Whoa. My camera just shut off. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, are you, you trying to, like, come up behind him and, like, stab him in the back or something? Oh, yeah. Straight through the fucking spot. Okay. So uh, you you get a good stab and uh, you lift him up, and uh, he there's a little smile on the face and uh, that body goes limp, and uh, this the, the crown kind of rolls off his head, and the the body quick someone burn it body turns to uh, to ash. Fuck. Coro, can you can you stop magic laughing? No, I can't. Can I you magic up the crown. Ground? Please magic can... the crown because I just <laughs> critical just failed roll and rolled a nine. <laughs> That's the first awesome. Renee roll. 
Can I pick yeah. up the crown? Yeah. Cool, I pick up the crown and immediately start disenchanting it. Um, looking at this crown, it is wood. This crown gives you wood? No. The armor of the crown the is entirely crown wood. Is the fingers, strong. the 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 crown itself, it's all wooden. Weird. And uh, from outside, the door slams shut. Fucking shit. The portal's gonna open and that evil elf is gonna come through. The door slams shut and then is no more. Sorry, should I say. I really hope that's in character. Fucking shit. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> elf bullshit! <laughs> I read about this one time in the monastery. So, burn the crown anyway. I yeah, don't know yeah no, I'm I'm still gonna try to disenchant it. This Can appears to be a, a regular wooden crown. Okay, then I the use fire. I just rip it. I no, I just rip it to bits in my hands. Okay. You now have splinters. Not in your hands. I'm just, metallic. You, no, I meant I like have, you've turned it I've to splinters. So you, splinters. in your inventory, you have splinters. Sweet. Okay. Um, now I just need four turtles and some radioactive goo. You can, you can make the world's itchiest rope. Should Fuck you, burn down? Ninja Turtle reference. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah. gonna see, that's I'm going to see Ninja Turtles too next year. I think that we need to burn this cabin in the woods. I'm gonna feed some turtles tomorrow. There was... Question: Where are we? Which side of the door are we all on? The wrong side. Y'all are in the cabin that is now closed with. In the door. woods. Yeah. So I would recommend not burning the cabin <laughs> quite yet. I think it's fine. I don't know you why you gotta make such a big deal out of it. Teleportation scroll. Sora. Sort of. so I can, can teleport we... out of here. How about we can look around to the cabin, perchance, to see if we can find something useful to get our way out of here? Or some other hidden thing that might or might not kill us. Actually, Cora wants to try something. Okay. I think Cora going... has ever gone wrong for us. It's an experiment. Uh, going by the door and trying to teleport out of it. And Cora's dead. There's no door. The door disappeared. Okay. Yeah, there's no, no more door. No, but like where it was. You can go to where the door was. <laughs> oh, and fine. then try to face step through it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Koro tried to enable no clip. <laughs> if you want to roll me an arcana check and see if you can teleport out, you are more than welcome to give it a shot. <laughs> I think gonna... Renee just mapped the entirety a, of the inside of this kid's room. I rolled a room. perception to win. <laughs> And then one. You can't roll to percept a way to win. <laughs> yes. Well, fuck, Renee just, just did. Renee just won D&D. &D. Fuck him. Went from a, a 1 to a 20. I think that's that's how you win, okay. basically, right? So yeah. you, you sit down for a second, and you think about your quest at large, and you go, <gasps> we need more dudes to fight a god. I really mean to win over the cabin's last finger I thought, that gonna, I thought that she was going to sit down and just okay, think, so huh, look at these fucking nerds. The real question we need to ask is, we're all worried about the cabin, but is there a gazebo? Why are 30 we scared of our Because okay. we all know is gazebos that your are dangerous. Check? Yes. Okay, so you can teleport to anywhere on the same plane as you. So where do you want to teleport to? Outside of the door. <laughs> So you There's no be... door. Invalid. Yeah. You got an <laughs> in your head. <laughs> okay. Outside where there used to be the door. That. The scroll doesn't dissolve like most of them do when you successfully cast a spell. Wait, you're talking about like me actually burning a teleport scroll? I was talking about face stepping. You don't need to roll for that. I didn't I thought you meant teleport. Fuck no, I have one of those scrolls left. I'm not doing that to experiment. <laughs> I'm not doing that to leave a death trap or anything. <laughs> you just had me roll. Well, I I thought you were implying that you were trying to teleport, so my bad on that one. Well, I can teleport with phase step. Yeah. Deep breath. Okay. So you try to teleport to the other side of the wall, and 
how does it normally feel when you t- when when you face step? Like, is it just like a, a nightcrawler bamp thing, or do you feel like you're moving really fast and you can sort of interplace yourself between, like, molecules to get to the other side of things, or how's it go? No, when I go to that place that's in between places, it's like a nightmare. <laughs> but I think we're going with the bamp Have scenario. fun with that fiction, fair soon. <laughs> <laughs> Accepted. Headcanon, so hard. So, you... Uh, you you go to that in between place. Uh, this time, <laughs> this time is it is it is all hugs and a puppies. nothing, just an expanse of nothingness in every direction. Okay. Uh, and it seems like you're there for a few minutes, and then this incredible force pushes pushes you back into the cabin, and you kind of uh, flop down onto the table. It's like visiting my in-laws. Am I right? <laughs> what? <laughs> So search in the cabin, <laughs> yeah, that thing that kind of wanted to do half hour ago, I think. I just want to make Chris's face sigh so hard that it just goes completely out of camera. Uh, so yes, in the cabin you have the the shiny mirror. Uh, there is uh, a rudimentary bathroom. There doesn't seem to be a kitchen. You have a table, and you got some piles of books with cobwebs and other icky goos on them. I look in a shiny mirror. Okay. You see uh, what appears to be the inside of uh, some sort of castle or something. Where's... Uh, there's windows, right? Uh, there's that mirror. No, it's Mac. Um, in the fancy castle area, uh, there is an Eladrin of some sort and a really old dude oh, hey, with a bone crown uh, just looking through at you. <laughs> Oh, damn. What if we always called it the bone mirror. ground? Right. Can't hurt. The mirror's already broken. Does it say Erised at the top? I Erised to be Irf. It didn't say break it. I said smash it. That's... What are the books before we start smashing things? Uh, they appear to be uh, flipping through them. It seems like uh, a few hundred years of journal entries. Um numbers next to names of towns, um, experiments, uh, results for prolonging life, different elixir combinations, um, some poisons you could put into things to uh, basically wipe somebody's free will. Wait, a few hundred years of entries by the same person? Uh, as far as you could tell from a cursory glance, the handwriting is, is very similar. Um, oh. At a certain point, it does get kind of shitty, um, but it seems like it was probably written by the same person. But there's, it doesn't stay on the lines. It sort of uh, kind of careens about the page. Ramblings of a madman. Uh, or like somebody doesn't know where where the lines are anymore. Mm-hmm. Like see. shitty as in content or handwriting? Like, is he writing about things that have happened in the past and then just starts writing shitty Sonic fanfics? Or things no, are no, jumbled just... and handwriting. hard to follow. Uh, it words sort of form like coiling snakes on the page so uh the next word in the sentence may be way down here and then up here and you gotta uh it, it's kind of hard to follow that's where the fingers went into his eye sockets part okay so it's <sighs> not and then sonic and goku went off and yeah jerked each okay, other so... real hard in the woods <laughs> Level nine besides five. all that mm-hmm. um i guess uh keep the books because one of our new patrons probably would like to have them and other than that do we want to try going through the mirror I believe so the current options you guys have expressed are crawl through mirror or punch the shit out of mirror (laughs) if we put like if we gently push our hand through the mirror does that work there's, there's no windows in this cabin no, no, because it's, it's, it's not really a cabin, it's room. really a circle of trees. Trap. Well, it's not even, in, it's probably not even there. That was just a door, um, you know, a portal access to another right. planet. Right. Uh, this, this ultimate artifact that I was given by him was supposed is to gonna, do I think Fairson's going to sit down and meditate a little bit and examine the magic that we're trapped in to see if there's some way to break this spell. Okay. So let's do some arcane-ness. I think either Lash or Gaz- Gazrin was trying to push through the mirror too to test it. Okay. Um, 
Well, while uh, Gosrin, or sorry, I mean, while, there's probably while, time while I was reading the yeah. books, I guess too. But yeah, yeah while Fairsoon is is meditating, who wants to try to put their arm through the mirror? Both Gosrin and oh. I'll do it together. Same time. Sure. Yep. Hold hands and push it through the mirror. <laughs> Believe in the power of friendship. It seems yeah. to have some sort of give to it. Uh, it it's, feels more like uh, leather that's not stretched fully taut. So you can kind of get some give, uh, but you're not able to push all the way through. Um, does does the whatever heck another, the guy on the other side react? Uh, or is he just is it a still image? It's sort of a like a like a shit eating grin they've got. Just okay. like oh look at look at look at the babies try to figure out the puzzle. Um and uh fair soon you uh you're you're magicking the room somewhat. Um and your gaze sort of ends up on the mirror as well. Um and you think that if you got if you could maybe get some assistance from some people, uh it may be possible to Change the channel, so to so to, so to speak, on the on the on the mirror. Hmm. Well, we had our way of contacting <clears throat> Ion whenever we had texts of importance, right? Or do we not have that yet? And we only had the beacon paper. You had Can the Coro help beacon. with that assistance. If you so desire. He does, but I am downstairs, so I need somebody to roll for me. <laughs> So fair soon, you roll yours, and then uh, I guess roll like some stupid. Plus, for it's like plus fifteen so, for Arcana. Yeah. So I'm making another Arcana check. Uh, if you want to try to reprogram the the, the TV mirror. Yeah, uh, okay. you know, discussing it with Koro, and I guess whoever else wants to help out. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Did a bad thing happen? You rolled, yeah. You rolled a one. Well, but I had a plus thirteen. It doesn't get much lower than that. Koro. As, Somebody roll for me, please. As well, I got, I got, I got a thing for you. Um, as okay. he is trying to cast his spell, uh, you feel some sort of counter magic going on, um, and you realize that uh, the time to act is now, and uh, the only way to do it is you're going to have to channel your teleportation spell into the mirror. And even then, you're not sure where you're going to end up, but it should end you up in the natural world somewhere. Why am I not already in the natural world? We already discussed this. The portal? My, oh, headphones, my headphones cut out when I went downstairs. Sorry. Uh, it was the, the portal that we stepped through when we went into this ca this room. The cabin, took us uh, out of the normal plane. Yes. The cabin in the woods. The cabin okay. is sort of an extra dimensional space. We're in a pocket. Yep. I don't want to use the thing. Are we in a bag of holding? So are you saying no on the the teleport scroll? I guess. Uh, fair soon, the spell you try to cast, uh, it, it, for some reason, it, it seems like it's something simple, and then maybe just a mis misspoken word or something, but it just gets away from you, and uh, with a flicker, the mirror shuts off. Shit. Well... So yes, back to, I guess, my idea of trying to contact Ion. Okay, that would, um, at this point, probably involve some prayer. Uh, what, what was the, the thing that she handed on the, on the paper that she handed us? Uh, I, I have a beacon tattooed on my hand. So what was that, then? I, I missed that part, sorry. They're going to deliver books about uh, he who slumbers. Right, it's for them to get in touch with me. Oh, it doesn't work the other way. No, it's basically just a GPS tag, so they could uh, right. the the scribes could drop shit off to you guys. It's just a hint of thing. Eska gets one every week. This one says picnic table in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> I like picnic tables. It, it says water. <laughs> um, if you want, Gazrin, you can definitely try to um, try to throw up a prayer to to old old library over there. 
like? Um, if well, they're probably the most readily ones that are looking after uh, looking not looking after us, but um, in contact them most recently, and they might come for us. And they had the, the beacon at least to find us. So yeah, I'll try praying to. Uh, okay. Contact. Um, this is going to be a little bit difficult, but uh, give me a religion check, and we'll see how well uh, things go. Twelve. Twelve. Ooh, twelve. Mm. Okay. Choice time. Either uh, it goes through, and Bahamut's a little bit jelly, or <laughs> it doesn't go through. It goes through. Okay. Oh, no. uh, because Deep. I have no problem giving up things for the party to help us get out of this, you know, trap. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Deep down inside, you just, feel just you feel this this nervous pang. But um, so so, what are you what are you saying in your prayer to Ayun? Um. Hey, bro, no way out of here. Wing. Uh, <laughs> scrolly, scrolly, one, two, three. Scrolly, scrolly, leave me be. We seek your aid. Please <laughs> find us via the beacon. We're trapped. I'm somewhere unknown. Keeping it short, presumably. We have books. <laughs> have books. But Koro's not going to show them. Koro doesn't have them. <laughs> Fine. That's why he's not going to share them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what condition that I don't have? Okay. Uh, a few minutes go by, and... Nothing happens. Um, but those of you who have any sort of uh, arcane ability, um, after a, f a, a little while, uh, you sense something weird coming from one of the books in that pile. Like, magic is being worked to rewrite something. Ooh. What does it say now? Uh, it is... Sucks to be you. Sincerely, Ion. <laughs> Way to fail already, guys. Um, as you guys look at it, it appears that page after page of this uh, strange, sort of pointy, jagged script is being added. Uh, and Gazrin, you recognize it immediately. It's uh, something written in Draconic. Okay. Do you want to read it out? Uh, or do you, do you... Well, basically... I'll read it at least, yeah, yes. Uh, looking at it... Uh, it it says uh, it, it's just a bunch of it looks like a bunch of arcane gibberish, um, but at, at there's some footnotes in it and it seems like um, if spoken you know properly enough, um, it should be able to break you out of this pocket dimension if nothing else. I presumably it needs to be read out in draconic, so I will. Yes, I will read it as soon as it's done writing itself. Yeah. It's a good thing it didn't burn a scroll in this bullshit. Um, so, you've got some options here. You can either uh, roll an arcana check, or if you want to roll a religion check and put a little bit more faith into Ayun, uh, you can use religion instead. Um, can Koro assist? Um, can you speak Draconic? If I want to. What? It's a Who's ritual. Who's a wizard he is bullshit for? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ritual that I have. Uh, I can speak all languages and read all languages. Well, la di da. <laughs> well, look at Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> that depends Tech on if... That depends on if Gazrin wants to uh, wait for you to cast the ritual. I'm not sure how long it takes. Um... And I guess if he wants assistance, but yeah, that's up to you guys. I, how long do rituals take? Uh, right, this one in particular. I'd have to log into D and D. Please hold. Let's comprehend language, right, Bobby? No, I think it's tongues. Uh, it takes ten minutes to cast. That shouldn't be a problem, and, and the assistance will be much appreciated. Okay. Sure. sure. So, Gazrin, are I you I say you remember me on that D&D website, but it doesn't do shit. Uh, yeah, it, it, it never saves the password for me. Gazrin, are you doing uh, 
Religion or Arcana for this? Um, uh, as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to have to go religion again. Uh, okay. Okay. So what does the assistance provide? Uh, if he rolls over a 10, I think it's... I'm plus actually trained. Train. I'm trained in religion, so my religion is plus 13. Yeah, it, okay, we'll roll, and if it's a 1, you don't assist, and if <laughs> right. otherwise, you do. Roll <laughs> a 2! <two. laughs> so that's just what, plus 2 on the check? Uh, yes. Okay. 21. Okay. Plus. Or did you already That was plus? with the plus 2. Yeah, okay. Plus. Uh, you feel another knot in the pit of your stomach? And as you look around, the walls of the cabin are slowly falling apart. Um, it gets blindingly, blindingly bright in there. Um, and I'm getting I, a lot of echo right now. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure who's echoing. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it gets blindingly bright. And then the next thing you know, you are uh, standing in a vast library with the rest of the group. With... Uh, Four uh, people wearing full body, uh, bright red robes, uh, standing in front of you with smiles on their faces. Whoa! And they say, "Welcome, brother, and your friends." And they they yeah. bow. Thank you for your assistance. I don't think we had any other way out of that. Wherever we were. <laughs> no way at all. Not Hail possible. Hail Bahamas. <laughs> You say, hail Bahama, and they hiss, and then fly up into the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> Bane rules, Bahama sucks! <laughs> uh, so, yes, you are now in a enormous library, in you have no fucking idea where. Uh, so hey, we're gonna where do... How do we get here? And we'll... Sorry, go mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here, since we're at like an hour, and it's getting okay. late. Um, so thank you everybody for downloading this episode. Uh, stay tuned for more adventure -y things. And please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, these sort of things live and die by word of mouth. So uh, you have all been pretty great at uh, recruiting new initiates into the cult. And if you continue to do so, uh, there will be Bloodstone merit badges in it for all of you. Thank you. We'll give you an uh, army that you've never seen before. Yes. Obey, obey, obey. <laughs> For small sacrifice. <laughs>